Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Friday, May 4th. This is for all signs, daily vibes, daily energy. Keep in mind that this is what I'm picking up on today. Whenever it resonates for you, however it resonates, follow your intuition, please. Um, if you'd like a quick reading, you can check out my Instago if you have an Apple iPhone. Um, if you would like a more in-depth reading, you can find how to request that below. Just send me an email and I'll send you the specifics. This is Daily Vibes for Friday, May 4th, 2018. What do we need to hear? Oh, well... Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, King of Swords, and then we have this Eight of Wands reversed. There could be blocked communication with this King of Swords. Maybe they've blocked the communication or they've slowed things down. Something has slowed down here. Hmm. Yee. Well... You know, you could be dealing with a tricky individual, okay? The Magician Reversed is somebody that is very tricky, crafty, and deceptive. Um, interesting. With the Hangman Reversed right next to it, it's as though somebody is stalling or they, you know, they have this fear, fear of sacrifice. What, they, what are they going to get out of this? You know, trying to do the right thing, trying to make the right decision. Maybe that's why they're stalling. This could be you or the person that you're dealing with. Somebody is stalling in regards to making a decision. They're being enlightened right now. Trying to, you know, make the right move. You know, there's a feeling of weakness here. So maybe this King of Swords is feeling weak or you're feeling weak. Maybe that's you taking on his energy. You have to make a solid, firm decision here. Okay, you need to make a firm decision and you may be, you know, it may be a little scary to make. So you may be blocking your emotions or blocking your feelings right now. Because you're still trying to figure out what's right, what you want to do. So you may be feeling weak. You may be feeling like you're not strong enough. Or you may feeling you may be feeling like you don't have enough confidence or self-confidence or self-worth or self-esteem. Somebody may be lacking those traits at this time. You know, but this is this is a mental conflict that you don't need to hold on to. You just you need to realize what it is. It's just mental conflict. You can step out of this conflict whenever you're ready. You know, you need to remove this mental obstacle from your life. Don't let it hold you back from communicating, okay? Because it's just it's all mental. Okay, it is. You're mentally trapped in a situation that is it's like paranoia. It's 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 pure paranoia. You don't need to let that hold you back. You know, it feels as though you need to find the confidence and the courage and the willpower to follow your passions. You may need to get creative. You know, if you're feeling stuck, if you're feeling like there's going to be no success in a situation, like you can't manifest success, all you have to do is find the confidence to do that. You know what I mean? You have the ability, you have the resources within you to create whatever you want, to grow, to bloom, to um, go down in an exciting path if you allow it. Okay, it's all up to what you allow. If you're willing to to give a little, okay, you might have to give. You might have to put in effort, you know. Um, somebody is, is thinking about leaving a situation that is no longer emotionally fulfilling. They're thinking about moving on. I gotta let this cat out. I do apologize. But when the cat wants to go out, he won't shut up. So, from what I can see so far, somebody is considering moving on. They're considering moving on 
you know, it's time to do something. It's time to go. The time is right now to do something, okay? The time is now. And they're stalling, okay? Because eights are the time is now. Eight, eight, eight. The time is now. Here's another one, too. Eight, 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 eight. We have four eights. All the eights, okay? The time is now. Somebody is stalling from making this decision that it will affect their that will affect their life. Okay, you're stalling. Okay, <clears throat> not finding your strength, not finding your confidence, not finding your courage to take action to move forward. That's what's going on here. When all you have to do is really focus and and do it. You know, you have to take charge. You have to. Um, Go ahead with whatever this plan is that you have come up with. You have been enlightened. You know what you need to do. Now you need to, you need to do it. Okay, that's what needs to happen here. You need to um, <coughs> find that force within you. Okay? You need to take the lead. For some reason, I'm getting choked up. I don't know why. What else? You know, anger, chaos, um, lost concentration, lost focus is holding you back. Something has happened in the past that has made you lose your confidence and your courage and brought you down and you're letting it hold you back instead of taking the lead you have the power within you the eights are about power they are it's the infinity sign it's about power you have the power there we go again we got another one you have the power within you to regain the control over your life to go after what you want to Fulfill your wishes and your dreams, but you have to take action. You know what I'm saying? You have the power within you. You just have to find it. That's what I see. Find that power within you to go after what you want. Quickly, quickly. Somebody is stalling so much that they could lose an opportunity. Somebody could end up walking away because somebody has been stalling. Or not communicating, you know, because when you don't communicate, it shuts people down. So somebody is dealing with another person that isn't communicating effectively. You know, and the thing is, is that they're feeling like they're robbed. I'm being robbed here. Or I'm going to be robbed. Yeah, there's some sort of injustice. Somebody doesn't want to be held accountable. They're afraid of being treated unfairly or they are being treated unfairly. You know, I feel like there's two people here. There's two people in this dynamic and one of them is being treated unfairly. They're being controlled and manipulated. Or they've been, because this can go so many ways, they've been controlled and manipulated, you know, it's, it, vice could go either way, vice versa. And they're thinking about leaving a situation, they've become enlightened, or somebody that isn't being enlightened, you know, they're not being communicated with is thinking about leaving. Somebody is thinking about leaving a situation where there is not effective communication because somebody has been angry in the past and they're doing the whole silent treatment bullshit. And, you know, that's a cowardly act. It's causing mental conflict in the other person. And it's just causing people to to go apart. That's what's happening here. People are, are, are going apart because somebody isn't communicating. They're stalling. They're, you know, not getting creative to fix the situation when they should be. Somebody is living in mental conflict because they're not receiving the communication that they need to move forward. And it's manipulation. 
It's manipulation by the other party. Whoever's not communicating is manipulating. That's what's going on here. And that is an injustice and it is unfair. Somebody doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions and that's why they're not communicating. So I feel like today is a day of considering moving on, moving away from this situation because if there's no communication, there's no emotional contentment. Yeah, there could be a breakup. Somebody could, there could be a breakup on the horizon. There's too many, too much disharmony. There's too much disconnection. There's too much imbalance and in, 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 and inequality. Incompatibility. Uh, incompatibility somebody there's been arguments and you know there could be a separation here there could be even abuse even mental abuse okay there could be there's some sort of this is I mean manipulation in extremes can be abuse okay I feel as though you are dealing, or somebody that is watching this is dealing with a situation with somebody that is almost narcissistic, and I hate to use the word, we've already talked about this, somebody is so manipulative that they will not communicate, they're trying to teach somebody something by not communicating, and they're pushing that person away, and that person is thinking about going away, because they are being pushed away. Because it's no longer stable and secure. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Libra, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, we have a Leo here, we have Leo, Aries, Sagittarius under there, we have Libra here, we have Gemini here, we have Pisces, could be any sign, even if I didn't name you off, either way, somebody is considering leaving this situation and focusing only on their job, on their home, on everything but love, because this didn't work out. I can't get somebody to communicate with me. It's not stable, it's not secure. Somebody has lost their devotion to the relationship. They're no longer devoted. And so the other person, some or both of you, somebody is considered, because we have two people, Somebody's considering walking away. Separation. Because the truth has come out. If you don't communicate, silence speaks volumes. Somebody has been enlightened by the silence and they're considering walking away. We're going to get one of these, just for the heck of it. It is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It's safe. Why ever, or whoever, or whatever. Whoever is not communicating, that's a protective tactic. It is. I will shut myself down to protect myself or to manipulate the other person. It can go both ways. If you're looking for love, if you want love to be successful... You have to communicate and you have to open your heart to give and receive. Communication works both ways, giving and receiving. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. If you want it, you're going to have to put in effort. You're going to have to communicate. Put in effort. That's why I said that. I happen to look on the bottom. If you want it, you're going to have to put work into it. If you don't want it, another eight. Son of a bitch. 
<laughs> you have the power to make it work. You have the power within you to be successful. Eight is about power. You have the power. The power is in your hands. The time is now. If you want it, you need to communicate. Talk to you later.